Hello there everybody. This video here is going to be very interesting for the hardcore Saturni Day lovers. <clears throat> because in captivity we often see a lot of silk moth species being distributed in Europe. But many of them are the same predictable species from the same subfamilies as well. However today um, I managed to obtain something more interesting. These are two caterpillars of the same species of Saturnidae from the genus Holocerina. Let me show you. And apparently somebody took these from um, Malawi. Malawi is an interesting location as well as not too much is known about the native moth fauna there. And these Malawian uh, Holocerina are feeding on the privet or Ligustrum. And the reason they are interesting is because they are from the Ludinae subfamily. And these Ludinae are not very popularly bred because they are small. And well, people want the big impressive species, but they also fly in very obscure places. And many parts of Africa. Well, there's not a lot of livestock uh, from Africa in the first place. Only sometimes we see the common Gonimbrasia species, but rarely something like this. So yes, that's going to be quite exciting, actually. I think they have still have uh, a little bit to grow, but I'm not entirely sure. But I was just talking about the Lydinae subfamily, but I'm not finished with Holy Solo Serena, because here I have caterpillars from uh, another Lydinae uh, Saturnidae. Yes, sorry for throwing around with these technical terms, but it's really the best to use the scientific names to know what we are talking about. We are talking about taxonomy here. Also, many of these moths, they lack English names because they're just obscure. So I'm breeding these on basil, which is an interesting choice of food plant. So I hope, uh, let's, let me see if I can get a close up of one of the larvae. Of course, they are still very small, so it's not going to be very impressive. Here we go. Here we go. So this is the second instar. And these came from Cameroon, which is a country in Africa again, because the subfamily of silk moths is entirely African. And well, it's really hard to show you some nice pictures now because these things are just so small right now. There we go. So, not many people have live footage of Lydia. The caterpillars somewhat remind me of the Asian genus Lopa, even though they are actually not at all related. They just remind me of them so because of their hairy bodies and uh, lateral stripes running along the body. So here we are, Ludia feeding on basil. So I was browsing uh, to the, finding the host plant for this species wasn't too easy. So I studied a lot of Lydia species and all their host plants and everything that was described about them in literature. And most of the plants were very obscure or not attainable in Europe until I found one page that mentioned one species eating on basil, feeding on basil in the wild. So that's pretty cool. Thanks for watching everybody. And I hope we can see these tiny little things develop into something bigger and more interesting because the adult moth will be quite beautiful. Thank you all for watching.